All right, so here we are uh, sitting at Great Lakes, Chennai with a few people sitting with me today with a lot of experience in their shoulder. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit uh, more about their journey, why they decided to come join this particular institute for their MBA after five plus years of experience. Yes, you heard it right. Uh, they have all spent over five years in their respective fields uh, and they have decided to come join a program do their MBA and get back to the sector. Raj, uh, Shireen, uh, Pooja, uh, welcome to this particular conversation. I'm excited to have you guys here, uh, more so because you guys are from very different uh, industries and sectors, right? You have spent considerable amount of time in architecture, in HR, in uh, manufacturing. You are also an engineer, if I'm not yes. wrong, right? So, uh, this is the kind of mix that we are talking about. This is what constitutes uh, an MBA classroom. Tell me a little bit about when was the time when you decided that, you know, it's enough of working in a particular setup. Now is the time to upskill yourself and learn new things. In my professional uh, experience, I've had the opportunity to work with different leaders and also work across projects in different industries. Sometimes, you know, you're building for, say, a production unit or sometimes you're building the headquarters of a MNC, right? So different decision drivers, different people, different thoughts and different vision for the future mm -hmm. is something I had to constantly work with. But uh, very rarely would I get to question of why this decision is being made. Right. And uh, personally for me, that was a driving force that I also want to understand what is the reasoning behind a certain uh, decision. And that drove me to, okay, what can I do to kind of upskill myself where I am able to contribute more holistically. Mm -hmm. So that's where I thought, what is the way to probably develop a more uh, rounded personality right. where I can contribute more than just the design delivery and that's where, you know, uh, the decision to pursue an MBA. For me, the decision came in pretty handy. I was in the fourth year of my professional career. That's when I started having a lot of introspection of what I'm doing, where it's where is it going to take me next five years, six years? And the answer was not promising, to be honest. That's when I thought, as to what Shireen said, you do uh, think of things like, why is it happening? What is the decision making behind this decision? What is the thought process that leaders put in? A professional life of a mechanical engineer starts by doing uh, focusing on the product technicalities. And then when they grow up, whenever they grow up, so they have this uh, more expectations slapped on them, which is very much focused on the managerial sides. So you have been trained for four years for thinking analytically on a product side, but when you are slept with these managerial expectations, there would be some skill gaps. And of course, uh, one can learn about these skills while being at the job, but for me, it was like fighting, a, I was trying to learn to fight while you're already at war. That was one motivation that I need to have hone those skills. And why not take back some time and try to work on you and get back again to the industry and perform better because it's not just about it's about getting the chair and making better standards making better uh, setting better better goals so all of you guys are part of the one year pgpm program that get great lakes chennai offers it's one of the renowned programs in india when we talk about a pgpm program what exactly are the things that we're looking forward to learn from this program so before taking this decision of getting into pgpm one year course i have had various discussions with uh, great lakes alumni and also a few of my friends who have had done uh, this uh, MBA. And there are a few factors that stand out about uh, Great Lakes. So one is the number of connections you make because we are sitting with future leaders right now and not just from one domain, they'll be in almost all kind of domains that we'll be having. So that's one thing. The second is you get back to the industry yes, just in one year. I mean, uh, and that's start earning. That's another uh, positive thing. I had a checklist of the things that I needed because you are, as you said, you are earning. You have to give up a lifestyle. You have to give up the monthly credits that are there in your account. So I particularly looked at, as, an, as every aspirant does, the opportunity cost. You consider a lot of things while doing it. So for me, all the checks were there. You get back, as Raj said, you get back into the industry in one year. I especially uh, collected the brochure and looked at the curriculum. We have seven terms in one year, which is like there are too many things that we learn in one year. So when I looked at the curriculum, everything that when I introspected myself and the skill gap that I had, everything fulfilled 
by looking at the curriculum. You, you learn finance, you learn economics, you learn world economics. There's nothing that you don't learn, even analytics. Coming from certain background, you may not have those skills, but you do get all the opportunities of learning it here. So everything was just in the right place when I was looking for an institution or to join. So Great Lakes was, you know, it, it was an instant decision. I did not have to do the pros and cons and things like that. So frankly, uh, the whole curriculum like Pooja mentioned, right, uh, was very new to me. I am going back to academia after seven years. So there was a lot of apprehension of will I be able to cope or how will I cope, right? Correct. But at the same time, the methodology that were, uh, you know, uh, spoken about at length by the alums, uh, we are doing a lot of coursework based on cases that are relatable because they are industry driven cases. You know, talking about the role that I ended up uh, bagging here at Great Lakes, that is a domain I would have not exposed myself or dipped my feet in if not for this curriculum. But at the same time, it's analytics is not something uh, that you know you get into the nitty gritty of you have to build a model. It's decisions that will drive businesses. So that is something Great Lakes equipped me with and uh, I think that transition was pretty smooth as compared to you know the apprehensions I had in the beginning. I'll come to you Raj uh, now you know from manufacturing also you have shifted your base now tell us a little bit about where you placed in the company that you're placed right now how did that decision come into being in four three four five months of you studying here? So I'm actually placed in uh, Infosys Manufacturing Consulting. This role is very much about digital transformation of our manufacturing industry and this decision about getting into this space was uh, not made after coming to Great Lakes, it was already made way before. So let's talk about you uh, Pooja, now from HR you are going to be an analyst uh, now tell us about the company that you have been placed uh, and in these four months uh, whatever you have learned how have you structured that in getting this particular uh, opportunity? I will be joining HSBC as a business analyst and a lot of credit goes to actually the curriculum and academics of the program that I have learned here. So when I saw the job description, there were some things that, so you have to build up on, you have to take on the skills that you were already acing at your work before joining this course. So you have to really align those jobs or those skills into your new role or whatever the role that you want to land and actually present it in a way that seems like a win-win for you as well as the company. So I learned a lot of about uh, finance, banking, the entire BFSI industry in general and with those classroom learnings I was able to speak a lot about the questions that were asked or the mindset that they were probably looking at. So all these things worked tremendously in my favor and I was able to bag the role. So manufacturing consulting analyst uh, at a BFSI company, what about you? I'll be joining Accenture Operations, uh, the innovation team at Accenture Operations uh, as an analytics consultant. My role largely involves, uh, you know, helping clients derive uh, insights from the data that they have and uh, they collect first hand. So these insights uh, largely help organizations you know uh, with decisions such as should we venture into this domain, how should we grow or what should our next move be. It involves a lot of creative thinking at the same time the decisions are backed by data, it's quantified, right? So there is no guesswork, there is no intuition at play. So that is something really interesting. And uh, apart from that, there is a lot of uh, soft skill that you develop in the curriculum, right? If you are consulting a client, you have to be a good storyteller. Mm. And that is a key skill that we develop in our classrooms as part of you know, our corporate curriculum, as part of uh, these workshops and different other uh, grooming sessions. So I think that came in very handy for me. Uh, right. During my interview, I was able to convince the interviewer that you know, uh, this is something that I'm comfortable working with and I could tell them how I could contribute. Let's talk about your interview experiences a little bit. Uh shortly you know were these the companies that you were gunning for targeting as well and what was that overall experience like so when uh, accenture came and offered uh, this role to us on campus it was like almost opening up the door to a lot more possibilities and future growth opportunities right what i understood is if you have 
the appetite or the hunger to kind of grow, right? Accenture gives you a platform to do that. There's a lot of uh, emphasis on learning and development, which is something that I found really attractive. There was no apprehension about, you know, you are a candidate with so much work X, how would you fit in? Right. There were no questions as such, yeah. right? Which was very refreshing. And uh, throughout the interview experience, my interviewer was very supportive and they were very happy to see somebody come back into academia and put in that effort, you know, and they appreciated greatly. So Pooja, how did uh, an HR convince a hardcore finance based company to go? My HSBC process, so it was uh, three or four rounds of interview that I went through and each round was extremely situational based. So HSBC was trying to actually understand your analytical thinking, your processes and they were actually giving you the situations based on the job description. So as a business analyst, my job is heavily involved around project management side. Stakeholder management is something which is really, really important in my job role. They were also trying to understand my leadership skills my skills or whether or not I'll be able to handle the the stakeholders because in a project management role and a business analyst role you have to speak to a lot of people those who are in a managerial or a leadership position so my interview was around those terms itself there were a lot of situational questions about project management they also checked about the basic understanding which of course we learned in our classes and I was able to deliver those answers and navigate to the right answer. Apart from that, a lot of leadership related questions were also asked which I was able to answer because of the past job roles. So all this really helped me to cross level by level and find eventually land the job. Raj, tell me a little bit about uh, the kind of skills that you have acquired in the last uh, five, six months that you have been part of your and the kind of months that are remaining. What are the kind of things that you want to pick up Next. So for six and a half years, I had the experience about the manufacturing process, that is it. All the technicalities, all the mechanical side of uh, the business, in order to build it on, in order to get something more, in order to make this basic so that you can make bus uh, business decisions. I was lacking those skills. For example, finance, I wasn't part of it uh, for most of my uh, career. There was marketing, which uh, I wasn't, I was totally unfamiliar with. And uh, similarly, they, there is data analytics, which is today's need. I mean, if anybody wants to develop, they have to have that skill. So all these things were missing from uh, my skill sets. In the last six years, I have worked heavily on this. And this, the course curriculum, they, they start right from the term one in order to impart these knowledges to you. So uh, these skill gaps are now, uh, you know, kind of going down. And in coming times, I would like to focus more on data analytics parts because as a part of a consultant, you need to derive results from the data company usually provides you. You need to be data driven. You have to provide solutions that are data driven. So I'd like to more focus more on the data analytics and that's why I've taken the major of as uh, AIML and data analytics. This gives me a segue to talk a little bit about the importance of data analytics in uh, AI and ML, which is again a speciality of this particular institute. How intertwined is this in the Current, current curriculum that you guys have. Are you guys finding it interesting? Are you guys finding it difficult? Because again, as I mentioned, you guys are from a very different uh, sort of a sector or an industry. We have business analytics classes in our initial terms itself. So for me, coming from a totally different background, according to me, business analytics was either coding or working with hardcore data. I was really afraid of it like really but then when i started the curriculum the the way we were taught i realized how important it is to actually do these things and take decisions so in the way we were taught we were addressed all our queries were addressed the fact that we were given given industry cases to solve in the class and asks doubt there and there which really helped so we were exposed to a lot of analytical tools in general be it for business be it for strategy finance any subject you take we are exposed to certain tools through which you can arrive at decision making which is i think really important in all the roles any role that you crack it's important if you are at a managerial level or above so we were able to do the industry analysis i'll give you an example we were given cases for a certain supermarket and we were actually able to derive how they think what is their strategy that they do for bundling the goods or maybe to price a product or which target segments are they aiming before this you generally don't think about these things so now we are able to segment these people using these tools how do you derive which are your potential customers how do you actually target them what price should you put 
which goods should you bundle all these things we actually did in the class and they were so effortlessly taught to us and we actually went back studied a whole lot of material came back to class asked doubt so it becomes really interesting in understanding and learning a subject which i was personally afraid of a lot of courses here are cross listed so you'll see we are using data for our research methodology class or maybe uh, driving our empirical study right these are areas where you could you know limit yourself with only theoretical uh, knowledge but you are actually backing that up with data and that is what differentiates your coursework from the other as part of my interview as well like pooja mentioned right we had the market uh, basket analysis and i had to uh, run them through what would be my actions or what would be my recommendations for a certain scenario and being exposed to something very similar in classroom i think i could contribute an answer more effectively also similarly i had another case in my interview where i had to understand the click through rate of a website and how that insights could translate to a better sales for an automobile company to be able to say okay this is the digital medium how do i convert that into a physical sale right that journey backed by data i think that gives more evidence of application of the knowledge we've gained in the classroom people similar to you probably not stuck maybe deciding to continue with the kind of work that they are doing what would be your advice for them so that they can also come out of it and upskill themselves it might be an overwhelming feeling that you know you leave your work and you kind of engage for a year in a totally new environment but at the same time i personally think i would highly recommend that you put that focused one year effort right and especially in a residential program because the whole culture that whole energy of 300 other people putting in that effort and rigor every day day in day out kind of sets the bar for you as well right so i would highly recommend you know dedicating that one year not just for upskilling yourself but also to kind of develop a better and larger network because yeah. that's what you know eventually kind of comes in handy of how you connect with people how you kind of uh, leverage your relationships so personally the only regret i have joining this program is that i did not join it any sooner i wish i could have joined it earlier and i knew about the system and one year programs that are in place so if someone who is stuck who was who is stuck like i was scrolling on their laptops for hours looking out for some upskilling programs i would highly recommend it so I've, what i've observed is that people look at the opportunity cost the fees that they pay against the salary that they are earning and all those things but the main thing that people miss out on is, is other intangibles you underestimate the power of network you underestimate the power of knowledge and learnings while you are at the workplace safely earning some money every month it gets credited in your account so to come out of that comfort zone and actually getting back to studies may seem very overwhelming for some people but once you take that step it's only for 2 days i'll i'll tell you i was very nervous for the initial 2 days but when i spoke to people i came to know everybody's nervous but then as and when you settle down in your classes you come to know what an amazing cohort you have joined and what this journey has been i wish i would have joined it sooner we have to look at it from the perspective of opportunity cost of not doing an mba so what are you missing out at you are missing out at uh, making 300 plus connections you are missing out at uh, uh, getting the salary hike just as soon as you finish the course and then subsequent opportunities that you'll be getting in the future you are missing out the chance to change the domain if you have developed some interest in uh, in your previous job you are uh, missing out on the knowledge the business acumen acumen that you you will be developing and and this business learning will be the deciding factor of your future career growth so you'll be missing in all those features so now decide for yourself if it's really a course you would like to follow or not superb thank you very much uh, guys for taking out time from your busy schedule so i'm not going to hold you up any longer for this uh, conversation i think we have discussed a lot about the kind of life that you guys are having right now and the kind of life the altering life that you probably will have after uh, this program is done if you want to be part of this particular program that these guys are part of there is a link in the description do check that out do tell us in the comments below if you like the video if you have any questions feel free to post that as well and we'll try and answer those uh, as well and do let us know what you think about your job and if you also want to change your career thank you very much guys once again it was lovely having you guys here and all the very best for your future thank you for having us